This is a short quick start video to get you started using 3D calibration markers inside of Vertex. The basic idea of 3D calibration markers is to align a physical projector to a virtual 3D model inside of Vertex. And yeah, instead of moving everything by hand, the cal marker calibration can assist you doing this. To start off, we're going to import a 3D model. I have a model with a bit of texture here. Drop it into Vertex, drop the texture here on my timeline and go ahead and drop the 3D model on top. So there we have a little 3D bull. I'm just going to scale it up a bit. It's a bit easier to see. Yeah, let's give it four. There we go. And you can see here we have some artifacts in our preview renderer. That is because this is still in a 2D mode. So we'll do a right click and say canvas 3D mode. And there we go. We have a clean three-dimensional model sitting in our canvas and if I move out a bit and turn on the thrustrums you can see this is how our display surface is looking at our 3D model and what we're going to do now is calibrate this display surface to be in the correct physical position in accordance to the projector so you can imagine this is the projector shining its light onto this model and we want to put it in the correct position with the correct uh, field of view and all these things so basically if i click on the display surface go to viewpoint you can see here we have a bunch of settings we can manually adjust um, to make this match uh, the, the projector's uh, settings but that's not what you want to do by hand that's really no fun so that's what we're going to use marker calibration for. To do that, in the canvas, we're going to switch from all to viewpoint. This means that now when we're selecting things, we're not going to be moving the 3D model anymore. And we're going to switch from selection to markers. There we go. So now you can see the vertices are now highlighted. If I zoom in here, you can see that we have all these edges nicely highlighted. And now when I click, I select my display surface. I can go to viewpoint. And here we have a field called calibration markers. I'm just going to switch into the standard mode, uh, into the advanced mode for now, which will give me a few more uh, options when it comes to calibration settings. We'll be needing these in a little bit. So first things first, we're going to be adding a marker. And as you can see here, we have a, a small marker which has appeared here in our render and now we're going to position this on a vertices and the way you do this is you press and keep pressed the control button and then you can click on a vertex point so there we go you see it's jumped over there or i can go back up here and i can start positioning this marker wherever i want to to put it What's important, we need at least six markers to calibrate such an object and we need markers at different depths. So if you look at the model from the side, we can't put all markers in a line here. We really have to spread them out as far over the model as we can. The more you can spread things out, the more accurate the calibration gets. So you can see here, I'm pretty much generating a marker, clicking, holding control, clicking on a vertex point, or grabbing a marker, clicking control, yeah, very straightforward. I'll do this a few times just to get things set up. Then we'll do another one maybe. Yeah, let's do one up here. It looks okay as well. How many do we have? Yeah, one more just for the fun of it. And we'll put it there. So there we go. Don't forget you're working in a 3D model. We try to always get the correct plane for your point selection, but it may be that you've put things on a on the wrong vertex, on the wrong vertices. So have a look at it from the side just to make sure that everything is where it should be. And now we're going to switch into the view of our projector to actually align these in their physically correct position. To do that, we'll switch from the canvas to the system view and we'll jump from the all outputs to the output view. There we go. And here, as soon as we click onto this render editor, you can see all of our markers are now spread out and now we have to position them in the correct position. Normally, this would be a life update. So as soon as I move a marker, the calibration would try to update. As we're doing a little tutorial here, I'm going to switch this off so it doesn't mess up my calibration and you can still see what I'm doing. But regularly, this is turned on. This is in the advanced calibration setting. So I'll turn it off for now. And now you can just go ahead and grab one of the markers. And as soon as you do, you get a white crosshair. And the basic idea is now you can see this white crosshair in your projector output and you position it in exactly the correct position it should go. So you really put it exactly where it should be. And you do this for all the markers. So as soon as you see the crosshair on your physical model, you position it exactly on that geometry point 
you have selected in the 2D mode. If you want to get things a bit more precise, let's say I put this here, you can always press shift and the arrow keys to move in half pixel increments. And this is really all about precision. Marker calibration only works if you have a lot of precision. So take care in what you're doing and really, yeah, match up all the points the way they should be. And at a certain point, you're going to be getting a, um, a, a calibration option, which you can choose, which is here. So as soon as you now press this button, it will try to calibrate the viewpoint. You can see here, I have a precision, how precise my calibration was. I could reposition these markers and I could do the calibration again. So yeah, there's different ways of how you can then, yeah, finalize your marker calibration. So we hope you enjoy this quick start and enjoy testing and uh, working with the marker calibration inside of Vertex.